This is a traditional open center peach tree, which many orchards in the southeast are trained to. We call it an open center or a vase system. All the branches are going out at approximately a 45 degree angle with the center of the tree open. An open center tree is primarily used to accommodate the high vigor that peach trees can have and to get rid of some of the shading issues with that excessive growth. If we would look at an open center tree, we start at the base. This one started out with three primarily scaffold branches. We come up approximately 18 inches to two foot, and then these primary scaffolds branch. And then we come up another two to three foot, and they branch again. And then off from these main scaffolds, we take the fine fruiting wood. The red wood is what we're after, the red uh, wood about the size of a pencil that is going to be the most productive for the peach tree. This is approximately a seven-year-old peach tree. It's trained to the open center. It has been pruned annually from the day it was planted. And we're going to prune it again uh, today uh, for, so we can maximize fruit production in the years to come. The first thing we would do on a tree like this is we would get rid of the upright growth. In the center of the tree, the open center tree, the center has to be open as the name implies or a vase. So the first thing we'll do is get rid of this upright growth. So growth growing up straight upright or into the center of the tree will be removed. We can also look at, we have the framework of the tree with our major scaffold branches coming up because this one is forked here, it has forked over there. So with these upright branches, we're going to get rid of the growth also growing upright off these lateral branches. With our scaffold branches, we want to continue the growth upward at approximately a 45 degree angle. So we'll go out to the tips, find growth that continues up at least a 45 degree angle and they will maintain those. Again, growth growing straight up and coming straight down underneath that will be shaded. It's also removed. Again, the lateral fruiting branches, we will head those back to stiffen. It's also to remove some of the fruit buds at the, at the ends. You can look at many of these branches have a weeping growth habit to them. Those were branches that were headed last year. We had three to four peaches on those branches. And you'll notice as they go below horizontal, we will remove those. Or many branches, they curve, go below horizontal. But in the process, they send out a lateral branch continuing upward. So what we do is we will cut the low hanging branches to upward growing branches. And we do that around the tree. Growth that's growing underneath will be eliminated and that growing in the center of the tree. Again, continuing out, you can see how the, the central leader, or the, excuse me, the scaffold branch here has lost its dominance. It is down because fruit weight has pulled it down. We have a branch that's continuing up, so we'll cut out the old scaffold branch to an upward growing one so that we continue our scaffold branch on which we can have lateral, lateral shoots which provide the fruit for us. In the southeast, most of our peach growers will want to do most of the work from the ground. So they limit the height of the tree, so we will go up approximately seven to eight foot, and then we will head off the scaffold branch to maintain the growth from approximately that point down. Then growth in the center is removed. Growth going straight up is removed. Notice we do not leave stubs when we make the cuts, we make them flush so we do not encourage regrowth. This is our finished tree after our dormant pruning for a seven year old tree. You notice we're maintaining the upward growth of our scaffold branches, keeping them up at approximately a 45 degree angle. Off from our scaffold branches, we're keeping as much of the fruiting wood, the red wood, if you will, that's going to be bearing fruit for this coming season, keeping them as much of that as possible that's growing out to the side, not going straight up, straight, going straight down. And then we're heading it back so that those branches will be stiff so they can bear the full crop of fruit that will be forming this year. For more information on training and pruning fruit trees, you can refer to this publication published by the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service, and it can be found on the website at the bottom of this screen.